If you're watching this video, you're probably wanting to find out how the live editor works and how you can get it working. This video will be a complete guide on how to install, use, and run the live editor. This is my first video doing something like this, so please do let me know if you have any feedback. First off, you'll want to buy the game on PC. No, you can't use your Xbox version. There will be links below to buy the game at a discount. It's worth noting that it does not matter if you buy from Steam, Epic, or EA, as long as you have the game. Once you have the game installed, search Live Editor FC24 on Google. This will bring up two results, one for Patreon and one for GitHub. If you're unfamiliar, GitHub is a platform that allows people to share and store their code for software, including the Live Editor. It is a little overwhelming to begin with, so let's use the Patreon link instead. This is important to note. You are going to want to get the latest version that matches the latest release or update you have for the game. I will show you what happens if you do not have this sorted. Scroll down and click the link to download the zip file, which will contain all the files you need. Create a new folder on your PC. You can put it in your documents, downloads, or desktop. Whatever works as long as you know where it is. I've named mine Live Editor FC24 for ease of use. Click the zip file and open it. I use WinRAR, but you can use whatever zip file software you want. Once opened, you will see the contents of the zip file. Left click and highlight all of the files so they turn blue, then drag and drop them into the newly created folder. This will unzip the files and give you access to them without having to faff around with the zip software. You can leave the zip file where it is, but the new folder is what you want. Open this folder and you'll see the contents of the zip file. This may look a bit scary, but all we want is the launcher, which is the application. Ignore the red X's as this is for my OneDrive, and I need to get that sorted. Click the launcher and you will be asked to run this software. Press yes, and you will see a disclaimer. It is worth noting that using this online or connected to the EA servers can get you banned. Do not play Ultimate Team or Pro Clubs with this initiated and you will be fine. Press OK, and you should have something like this pop up on the screen. Remember when I said it's important to have the right version installed? As you can see, mine has a yellow warning in the top right, indicating the live editor is not compatible with my version of FIFA, which means it will not work. There's a simple fix for this. Go back to Patreon, sign up, and you will find the latest version. You do not need to pay, but it is always nice to give back to the developers who make all of this possible. Now you can see the text has turned green, which means we are set to go. This screen isn't too important, but essentially what you're seeing is the log of all the actions of the software, which is useful for bug fixing and troubleshooting. All you want to do is press the Run Game button on the left-hand side. You'll then see the status turn to Injecting, and the game should begin to open. This bypasses the built-in anti-cheat engine solution designed by EA to stop hackers hack cheats online. The game will then open and start to launch as normal. Once the game is open, leave it for a few seconds and then you should be greeted with something like this, the live editor. This message indicates the live editor engine is installed and you can use this moving forward. That's the installation done. Nothing too concerning. Let's get into the fun stuff. If you press F9, it will open the live editor, which will pause the game, and here is where you can start getting creative and using the functions. Now everything you need is on the left-hand side. Pressing these buttons will open up a new menu tab where you can explore further. As you can see, I can see the overall and stats of the free agents I've searched. This is done by opening the MISC Features tab. Here you can also tick Perfect Time Shot, which will green your shot every time, but I tend to leave this unticked. The career mode menu is what you want. First things first, press the manager tab and you will see the unsackable option. Make sure this is ticked. This prevents the game from sacking you regardless of how the board thinks you're doing. Have you ever watched a content creator rebuild a team and you've wondered how they don't get sacked? It's by using this feature. So every time you see one of my silly challenges like the GK only challenge or the defensive formation, it's because I have this enabled. Now you want to go down to GTN and make sure the reveal player data option is ticked. This will enable you to see the player's overalls without the need to scout. For peace of mind, you can see I've unticked this option and have gone back into the game and now cannot see the overall. But pressing F9 and ticking this option will allow me to see their rating. 
Go to the top left and press Settings, which will give you the option to tweak what you like. For example, the overlay can hide the live editor at startup, or you can change the hotkey required to open, close the editor. Pressing the Players tab will give you access to pretty much the entire player base in your career mode. You can see I've searched for Kabi Me New, and this gives the option to pretty much change anything we like about the player. Pressing the Attribute tab, we can see his individual stats, and using this nifty slider, we can increase the stats to make him better. Playstyles, again, you can add more playstyles to a certain player or individual. You must press the X on the Player tab at the top. This will give you a snapshot indication of what you have changed, and press Yes to any changes you have made. Now we go back to Mainu, and you can see his overall has changed, his stats are higher, he's now transfer listed, and has more playstyles. This is awesome, and gives you a ton of creativity. Let's run through the rest of the main menu tabs. Transfer history is self-explanatory, and would be filled in if this was not a brand new save. Database allows you to tweak certain features, which I would avoid if you do not know what you are doing. GP Attributor allows you to create gameplay mods. For example, you can change the ball size and have some fun. I've linked an article on how to use this in the comments. The Aardvark database contains key value pairs from all kinds of .ini files used by the game. With Aardvark Editor, you can edit the values without editing the .ini files themselves. Again, avoid this if you do not know what you are doing. What you really want to focus on is the MISC Features and Teams tabs. The Teams tab is where this gets interesting. Let's talk Wolves, for example. You can go in and edit pretty much whatever part of the club you would like, whether that's the year it was founded, the number of competitions it has won, the stadium, and even the kits. Changing kits does take a bit of tweaking, so I have left another guide below for you to view. Let's say we want to manage Real Madrid. We've done our job at Wolves and we are sick of waiting for the right time opportunity. You can search Real Madrid in the search bar, click them, and open their tab. Click the Team tab, and this will bring up a sub-menu that gives you all kinds of goodies. Let's click Create Job Offer, and you will see in the corner it says Job Offer Created. Check your inbox in-game. Close the editor, and you'll see in our inbox we have a magical offer to manage Real Madrid. We can also go back into the editor, click the Team tab, and transfer the team either the club or the league. This is great if you want to simulate an entire season, for example, and start in the 24-25 season like in real life. Or perhaps Chelsea get a transfer ban, and you want to emulate this in the game. Now it is worth noting that all the tweaking and changing we've done on certain players, my new, is only applicable to that career mode, save. If we go into another save here at Sporting KC and search Menu, you'll notice there is no upgrade to him or his playstyles. So, whenever you want to load the game, make sure you use the live editor. I always like to pin this to my taskbar so it is quick to find. It is also worth noting you can download the latest squad updates while using the live editor. You can just not use it online on Ultimate Team or Pro Clubs. I hope this guide has proved useful. I have attached several helpful links in the comments. Please do consider subscribing if you found this helpful.